So I've been asked a couple times how I uh, begin the process in this whole automation thing that I'm doing. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, kind of break it down and get you set up with uh, with an API token and a Postman uh, kind of workspace to you know just kind of lab stuff up and and to do a little bit of what I'm doing. So the first thing that we need to do uh, this is my lab. Uh, it doesn't have any. There's no. Um, it's not no inventory to it. Um, I've been using it just to test, so you don't technically need any missed hardware in order to make this work. Um, so, first thing that we need to do is we need to get into the API documentation. So this is good to read anyway. So no matter what, the overview would be good to read. This is how you figure these things out. Um, but to get you started, uh, you're going to need an API token. An API token is basically the authentication that says that when we do stuff, uh, this is it's it's a authorized action, and to actually make it happen. So we're going to hit API token. So in here, we want to create one of these. We want to create an API token. So this thing says uh, that we need a, a post activity, and uh, and we need to post it to here. So what does that mean? So let's go to uh, let's go to where it wants us to go. HTTPS colon backslash backslash API dot com, and then we'll paste what I just copied in there, and we'll hit enter. So this is what they call the uh, Django REST framework. So on the back end, they have this service installed so that when you try to do something just like the computer would, uh, it, it gives you this this kind of little bit of an intuitive uh, screen to see what's going on and how how things are happening. So, but we want to use this in a different way. So this thing says we need to post. So how do we do that? So in here, this is our post. So this is a get. We can hit get all day. It doesn't have anything in there. But let's hit post and see what happens. Okay, so now it gave us something. So this key right here, this is important. Uh, we need to copy this and uh, we'll save it. We need to save this. Uh, save it somewhere safe because uh, no one's supposed to see this, so don't create any YouTube videos and show this thing off. This is a uh, you know, super secret squirrel because this is our authentication to our, our environment. Anybody that has this has basically access to do whatever they want in here. Um, so let's do a get again and see what happens. So here we go. So now this get, because we're doing a get instead of a post. So if I scroll down here and I say uh, uh, use API token, or this is even better. So this is the same thing, but it's a get instead of a post. So this is exactly what we're doing. We're doing a get uh, right here, and this is what it's responding with. It's responding with the ID, the admin ID, and the key. But notice how the key isn't a full key anymore. You only see your full key one time, so save that. If you don't save it, you're going to have to create a new key, delete the old key, all that big mess. So uh, so I again, I, I copy and pasted mine in here. Uh, you shouldn't be able to see this, but um, you know I, I trust you. So, uh, so we'll close this out. And uh, now we want to do something. So let's close this out too. So we don't have any clients to report. That'd be kind of fun if we had some clients that we could report. What we do have is we've got a whole ton of sites. So if I go into organizations, settings, nope, not that organizations, site configuration, here's all my sites. Let's pull this out programmatically. I want to pull this out with uh, Postman. So how do I do that? So here's Postman. Uh, I've created a new workspace, but if you don't have one, if you just started this, you won't have a workspace. It'll look just like this. Um, so what I tend to do is I'll create a new collection because that's just a, it's like a folder, uh, and you can share this folder with people. And I'll share this uh, in this in the video in the description of this video just so that you kind of have something. Um, so we'll say um, uh, intro to API examples, and then we'll hit OK. And actually, I want, do I want that? Let's look. Yeah, so I can share that collection now. So inside a collection, you can actually put subdirectories if you want to. Uh, we don't really need to, but we'll just do it for an example. We'll say um, token requests, because that's where we want all of our token stuff to live. OK, so uh, so now we have that. And then we are want, uh, I don't know, let's do a site request too, because we're going to try to get all of our site names out of that organization. So. We'll do add a folder, and we'll say site requests. Enter. Cool. So now in here, uh, we want to right click and add a request. Our request, our request name will be, we want to get the site, so I'll just name it get sites. OK, so that creates this thing. So how do we use this? So it looks, it looks kind of familiar, right? So here's get. And if we click on this, you can see all the different types of requests that we can send. We want to get because we want to get this information. We're not trying to send or post anything or delete anything or put anything anywhere. Um, so let's go, uh, let's go back to our documentation and see what the heck we're doing. So we'll go on API documentation. We'll go to sites and 
you know, there's a lot of options in here. So let's just do WLAN, see what that is. So here is a WLAN definition. That's cool. Actually, no, we're doing sites. We don't need WLAN, we want sites. So if I uh, search for sites, here we go, organization sites. That makes more sense. So here's create a site under an org. We don't want to do that. That's a post. We just want to get it. So if we scroll down, country codes, look in, look in. There we go. Get sites that belong to an org. This is what we want. So if we highlight this, copy it. Again, we can do this in the uh, in the actually on the website if we want to. I'll do that in a second uh, as soon as we build this thing. Um, but we'll go back into Postman and we'll paste it right here in the URL. And so again, we actually need to tell it that we want to go to HTTPS colon backslash backslash API dot miss dot com. And then the org ID, if you'll notice, uh, this is this is a variable. This is something that we actually need to supply our specific organization ID. Uh, but you'll see in Postman, it creates this path variable. So I can change this to whatever I want. So let's say Andy and hit send. So 404 not found, of course it didn't find it because it's looking for the URL in API uh, v1 orgs Andy sites. So this is this is what we're looking to change. Um, so let's uh, let's find our organization ID and uh, put it in instead because that makes more sense. So if we go to organization, it's, it likes to turn off mid mid sentence. But uh, anyway, so then we go into settings. And right here is our organization ID. So we're going to hit this copy, copy to clipboard button. We'll go back into here. And so we can put this in here if we want. And now when we hit go, it says authorization credentials not provided. So instead of putting it in here, you can actually just as easily do it in the URL if you want to. Uh, this is just a way to uh, organize how you're connecting to things and, and it gets really advanced. But you see, I have the same result. So just for the sake of simplicity, um, you know, let's let's actually do it. Uh, let's do it the way that they want us to do it. So we'll say org ID and see how it built it as I'm typing it. And so here we'll put the value in here. So now we have it. But again, when we hit send, we don't have our authentication credentials. So what does that mean? Uh, that means when we go in here. Well, let's see if uh, let's see if it says in the API. It might not. It's kind of basic um, information to have here, but we'll go over it anyway. Um, HTTP header, admin equals privileges, da da da. So I don't see it in here. So I'll just tell you. So basically, if you go into the headers, we need to supply authorizations. So we'll start typing that out and we'll say here's authorization in here. Uh, it said somewhere in documentation, I don't know where, uh, it's token, space, and then your token. So we're going to copy this big thing out here, copy, and we'll paste it right here. And now we'll run it and see what happens. Interesting. So what this thing will do is because this is a JSON formatted uh, response, it will automatically make it look pretty for you. So here we have all of our sites and our country codes and everything that we possibly need. There's actually more information in this than you would have, uh, than you could potentially have in uh, in the in the UI. Um, so that can get kind of confusing. You kind of got to watch that. Um, so we're going to actually save this. And now let's say that we want to uh, we want to export this to Python. Um, so just for an example, uh, I'll go to my desktop. We'll create a new Python file just so you can see that it's Python, right? Python test. And then we'll put in uh, print hello world. Just to kind of show that we have that working. Change it to a .py. Yes. CMD. We'll say Python. And we'll open this file. Uh, okay, so name error, print not defined. Let's do it again. Well, okay. Well, maybe it's lowercase that we need. Okay, that's fine. Let's try that. I'll do it again. Okay, so hello world. So it worked. Cool. Uh, now let's uh, let's make you can see how hard a time I had printing hello world. Let's see if I can make all this happen uh, exactly what we did, but in Python. 
Now, little secret here is if you go to this little code button right here, it will show you uh, exports of all the different types that you can uh, basically just copy and paste. Um, so let's just do, uh, let's copy and paste this first one. We'll copy this out. Go back over here to our Python file. We will rename it text because we learned that lesson. Paste it in here, hit save. Change it back to Python. And again, you can use your IDE or whatever you want. Um, I use Visual Studio Code, but I just kind of wanted to show that this is as easy as it is. Um, so I did Python and then we do Python test again. Hit go, that's all of our data. We just, we just did the same exact thing with all of our data in here in Python. Uh, the same way we did in uh, Postman. And again, you can do that with uh, that or uh, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, all these things, all these different examples uh, on how to just copy and paste this thing in. So that kind of gets you a head start into Python. If you want to start making programs do different things or you want to make, uh, you want to start chaining these things together. Um, uh, that's that's kind of one example. Let's create something. Uh, so let's go in here and we'll say, uh, same thing, we'll go to, um, let me hit back, we'll do sites. What do we have here? That's the wireless LAN. I want something easy. Um, what could be easy? Well, I'll show you, I'll show you kind of a, a little bit more of an advanced way to do it. Okay, so I'm in Chrome, right? So this is, uh, this is Google Chrome. And uh, I want to do something like, uh, Let's go into our site configuration. So let's say for building, admin building, uh, let's just make a new one, create a new site. New site's gonna be named 11 new site, because I want it to sort at the top. Um, we'll put Texas, and that's all we really need for a new site. But before I save it, I wanna go into developer tools in Chrome. So you hit the three dots, you do more tools, developer tools, and it'll open this big crazy thing. So all we care about is this network tab. You hit network and you make sure that this is uh, recording. So it recorded a bunch of redirects and stuff. We don't care. We'll hit stop, play again, or record again, and we'll hit save. And then we'll hit stop. So this is recording everything that just happened. And so these are all the API requests that just happened. Um, so if we look at here, we see that this is a get. Uh, it came back 200 okay. It went to apimiss.com, orgs, RF template. So it's looking for an RF template. Um, we'll go to versions, same thing, it's a get. We're interested in a post because we posted this website. So here's a post. This is uh, this is what we wanna do. This is the information that we want. So if you go back into, uh, into Postman, uh, we're gonna create a new request and we're gonna say create site. We'll save it. We're gonna end up copying and pasting our super secret uh, uh, password here, our token, and we're going to name it authorization. And then we're going to copy and paste this whole thing. So this is where it went. Copy, paste. And as you can see, it did, uh, this is my org. So it went back to the org and then it's, uh, it's in the context of sites. And this is probably in the documentation, but we're, we're doing it the secret way. We're doing it the way where we just want to do it exactly the way the UI did it, not necessarily the way the documentation says that we should do it. And so this is all the, the, the information that we would need in here. Um, so we can just go all the way down to the, uh, the response. Uh, so this is the, re or the request, uh, uh, payload. So we want to hit view source because it's all pretty right now and it's easy to read, but uh, we just want the source. And so if I highlight this, copy, and then go in here, we're going to go into the body of this and we're going to say raw and we're going to paste it in here. But because we want to uh, post this information, because this was posted too, right? So we went up here and it says that it was posted and not, it wasn't a get, it was a post. We're going to go in here and we're going to match that. We're going to say this is going to be a post. And a cool thing with this is, so this is the syntax highlighting. So if we wanted to highlight it for different things, we know that this is a JSON payload, so we can hit JSON and it makes it all pretty for us. But another cool thing is it enables this beautify button. You hit that and now we can read it. And so uh, this is 11 new site that we just created. And again, we actually did, let me close this out. We actually did create that. It's 11 new sites right here. Um, what we wanna do is create 12 new site. And this is all the information that we put in there. 
so this isn't a whole lot of information because we don't really we didn't really need a lot but an rf template goes in here um, site group ids notes whatever you want to do so notes we can say this is a test using automation and apis and so now uh, let's send it and see what happens so we got a response back and the response back said that it, it updated all this stuff we don't actually have to care about that we can go into here and we can hit refresh and now we see that 12 new site is on here and if we click on it see here's our notes we've already got our notes in here so now we've programmatically created this based on uh, api that the ui was doing we didn't even look in the in the uh, the documentation we probably should have to be fair we could have done that and that's that was probably the right way to do it but if you if you understand the way that this thing is communicating, you can just you can just uh, you know copy and paste over what's going on. Uh, anyway, so hopefully that helps a little bit. I, hopefully that helps more than it hurts. I tried to show something that was a a get, and so we need to save this. And when we save it, it changes it to a post. Um, and so this is a this is basically everything that we would that we would need in order for this thing to work. Um, I hope this helps, and and uh, I'll see you on the next one.